hey guys welcome back to another video hey so today we are gonna do a vlog which is actually the first ever kingdom seekers event called code x and i'm so excited to take you guys with me we are we have an amazing guest speaker we have an amazing guest band and it's seriously gonna be so much fun all right you guys ready you guys i'm so ready but before that let's get the intro Welcome, bienvenidos, bienvenidos, welcome, okay? Um, so, come along with us, all right? ...de salud, un día más donde podemos estar no tan solo en su casa, pero también alabando y exaltando el nombre de Jesús. Y amén. Y la palabra dice... Dice, estoy a punto de abrir la boca y voy a hablar hasta por los codos. El tres, mis palabras salen de un corazón honrado mis labios dan un, su opinión sincera. Cuatro, el Espíritu de Dios me ha creado, me, me infunde vida el a, a, alito de Todopoderoso. El cinco, contéstame si puedes, prepárate y hazme frente. Amén. Uh, lo que me gusta de aquí es el cuatro que dice, el Espíritu de Dios me ha creado. No sé, ustedes saben, pero el Espíritu de Dios está con con Dios, con, con Jesús y cuando eso dice de que el Espíritu Santo me creó eso significa no, no tan solo de nosotros estamos, o, perdón, somos creados por Dios, pero pertenecemos a Dios Amen. Amen. pertenecemos a Dios y so Hey guys, uh, so I'm actually editing the video as we speak and well not as we speak because you're gonna be watching this once I'm done editing it but I'm editing it and I did include a little bit of like quite chunks of what happened tonight um, I'm really excited about what God is doing in the youth and what God is really doing in the church um, like you guys know I love God I love Jesus and I, I am not gonna be ashamed of spreading the gospel at all if you guys subscribe glory be to God if you guys don't you know I guess it's something that you choose to do but I really want to represent God in everything that I do like I said I'm the, my last words before I say you guys is uh, see you guys is God bless you ciao I love you don't forget to love yourselves and love each other you know I want to spread positivity so hopefully we're able to do this so that um, um, chapter three. Three. Mm. It, it says, says if, if it be so, so our, our God, God whom we serve is available, available who deliver us from the burnt, the furnace, and he will deliver out of things. Amen. This shows how much they trust him. So when he goes, when the fire, the king, on chapter verse 24 and 25, if you guys want to know. Did not we about in the midst of the fire. They answered and said unto him, True O King. He answered and said, I see four men walking in the corner of the earth, and they both heard. And four fourth is like the top. So this shows how the three disciples had faith and trust in God. And they didn't get burnt because they trusted in God. We should be like the three disciples, having trust in the Lord. In Isaiah 40, chapter 40, verse 2, if you guys want to join me, it says, when thou passes through the water, I will be through the river, it shall not go thee. Then thou, when thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not burn. Neither the fire and the fire. This shows if we 
pass through the fuck, the woman would not give birth. Because we have trust in If we have trust, we will pass through the fuck. Because we put our trust in God. Like Psalms 54 says, In God, I put my trust. Hallelujah. Glory, glory to God. Hallelujah, Santa. So we have to trust in Him. Hallelujah. I don't know if I'm saying, but in um, Proverbs 3 5, says, Trust in the Lord with all the heart. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that we should trust in in whatever. Or, or any, any kind of system. point and where we always know that the faith that we have is going to determine how much or how we do certain things in the in, in, in the you know coming out of the deals for example these guys they have so much faith knowing that they're not going to get burned even though they're literally in fire and so what they did was they were like you know what i know i have a god i know that there's somebody who can who who, who can uh, what's it called cuidar me en medio del fuego you guys understand what i'm saying in other words there is somebody out there for you that if you're going through problems, there's somebody who can who can uh, uh, heal you. There's somebody who can cuidarte en ese medio de proceso. Amen. So Josué, it was perfect what you said. What you said was very perfect it's because a lot of the times we lose our faith. We lose our faith. We think, okay, well today, wow, God touched me, but the next day, my day goes bad. And and we're like, oh well, never. And I can't I can't praise God anymore because my day is it's all bad. It's all messed up. But let me tell you something. When you have faith, saying, you know what? No, my days are going to be better. No, the fact that God is with me and nobody can be against me. I really wish I had somebody here to say Amen. No, 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 I really wish I had somebody to say amen. When you start acting like that, when you start believing like that, like Josue said with the Bible, it doesn't matter what you go through. You can go through fire, you can go through flames, whatever. God and Jesus Christ together are going to heal you. They're going to be there for you. So Josue, thank you. Come on, let's give him a uh, round of applause. Amen. And so it's something that we, um, we got we to take into our hearts. You know, a lot of, a lot of the, the things we do in church, a big part of it has to do with faith. It has to do with knowing who your God is, knowing who you're serving. Whether it's, uh, you know, music or predicando, usted tiene que saber a quién tú estás alabando, a quién tú estás predicando, a quién tu fe va a ir, a dónde, a dónde tu fe va, a Dios. Y cuando tu fe está dirigido a Dios, no hay nada imposible para él, no hay nada imposible para usted. Amen. So um, we're gonna end it today, but yeah, it's a little faster than we usually do. But we got a lot of food downstairs. Well, we got chicken, we got pozole. I know Josué likes pozole. <laughs> Amen. So let's put our, let's get on our feet. So we're gonna pray. Amen. I don't know if someone can join me on the piano, you guys. Okay. Before we end there, we wanna. I don't know if we can sing a song of worship. Yeah. Okay. So stand up on your feet. Step on. Stand up on your feet. Lift your hands, and we're gonna sing a song of worship. Josue, I know you're at home, but you know you're you're a laid up guy. I know you can worship where you are right now. Amen. So close your eyes. Close your eyes, lift your hands up, and just give God thanks right there where you are. Dale gracias a Dios en este momento. Hey guys, so I totally forgot to record most of Codex, and I'm in bed now, and I, no makeup, no nothing, I'm, you know, in bed. Um, but it was a great event. Thank you to whoever came out. Thank you for all the people who supported us, who were there with us, and thank you whoever helped out in everything. You guys are amazing. Thank you to Josue Perla for preaching, for giving the sermon. Thank you for everyone. Really, it was just an amazing experience. Thank you to everyone who helped us pray for it, who helped us you know, make the event happen. But stay tuned, we're gonna be doing more. All right guys, stay tuned. I love you. Don't forget to love yourselves and love each other. God bless you. Ciao.